I miss the wonderful bubbly girl that she used to be. I would love to have my daughter Sadara back. Sadara hasn't always been like this. She was an honors class student, straight A's, highly intelligent. It breaks my heart to see somebody with so much potential not living up to it. If things don't change and her life continues to spiral in this direction, I fear that I'm gonna get a phone call that she's dead. My greatest fear is that the next time I get in trouble, I may not be able to wiggle my way around them and I'll end up sitting in jail for the rest of my life. I'm tired of hurting everyone else, including myself. Your personality is, is really key here. A lot of research says your, your personality is formed by the age of seven. And that by that time, it's pretty static and it doesn't change. Some people say that at 30, you can still have some fluidity, but a lot of people say that by the time you're seven, your core personality is pretty set. And there are five characteristics to that personality. Openness, just kind of how open you are to the world, to new ideas, and that tends to decline in both men and women with age. And then the second one is conscientiousness and that increases for both men and women in the 20s. You become more organized, more planful, more attentive to things in your 20s. And then the third one is extroversion. And it's higher with young women, but it declines with age. And then next is agreeableness. And that increases with men and women in their 30s because you're kind of through raging against the machine. And then next is neuroticism, alienation, morale, and satisfaction, and those are situational. Okay? Now, right now, alienation is very high for you, right? Yes, sir. That's a big part of your personality. You're alienated from your family, you're alienated from school, you're alienated from the world. From myself even, I feel. Come with me. All right, first, the first five to seven years were really unstable for you. Yes. <clears throat> Abandonment and confusion. Yes, sir. And one thing you wanted at that point was you really wanted a father. Yes. At seven, you're adopted by Robert, and you hope that you get a father figure, but instead you get an abusive, authoritarian disciplinarian. Yes. This became critical for you and you hoped to get it here when this happened, but it didn't. You start to feel powerless because your mother, in your words, is distracted. Yes. And she's not protecting you against all of this. And that's when all of this starts. And you guys wonder why she's doing the things she's doing. That's why she's doing it you start doing high-risk behaviors. Because let's face it, what do you have to lose? Nothing. You feel devalued. These are words out of your mouth. Yes. She deserves a family, so I will leave if I have to so she can be happy. That's what you said. And I still mean it. The street becomes your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is danger. So you get diagnosed with ODD, depression, bipolar, and PTSD. No treatment, but jail. It's correct in every way. And I know I need to change, definitely. But I want you to understand one thing. At least one person in your life has taken the time not to judge you, but to figure you out. Yeah. I'm not judging you. I'm trying to figure this out. And I thank you for that.